Alright everybody, welcome to Milk and Gaming. Today we're just going to be taking a quick look at how to play Castle effectively in the game Rainbow Six Siege. So to start off, we'll take a quick look at his loadout. As you can see, I am running the Ump along with the MP5 pistol for the higher stopping power, and I prefer to use the deployable shield, though the barbed wire also plays a large role if you want to use that. Both are really strong. The Ump, however, just provides more range, and uh, I would prefer using it over the shotgun in most cases. It also has a very high stopping power, which makes it pretty effective for almost any purpose anyway. So you should really just use that for your main weapon. So, when you're playing this castle, you're going to be wanting to do a couple things right away. The first of which is creating kill zones using your barricades. Good ways to do this are to set up areas where you can shoot through enemies under the barricades into enemy feet. So as you can see here, I'm going to be taking out the front door placing my armor panel on it in hopes that the enemy comes up to it to place a breach charge and one of my teammates can take advantage of that. I'm going to set up a sim similar situation here in the main lobby where they're approaching the objective and they're just going to be caught off guard should they come from that direction and therefore I'm going to have a better time uh, taking them out easily using my high stopping power gun and taking their feet out from under them. Most people will know how to do this and if you're on the attack you should also watch out for this when you're coming up on barricades in general, not just castles. Now the second thing you want to get going to want to do is castle is go upstairs and make sure that you're secured on your drop-ins as these drop-ins will really negate the effect of your barricades if you're allowed to get through them without sacrificing any of their advantages like uh, their range for example. So here you can finally see us closing that up and later in the game that does come into play because we're able to funnel them into our kill positions and take them out. However, it's a little long so I'll leave that gameplay out as I know you guys know that I'm awesome at playing this game so I don't need to show that. But to move on to different ways that you can play as Castle effectively, I would recommend trying first the more defensive approach. Castle has some medium armor on, so he's kind of slow, but he's not slower than people like Rook. And likewise, he's not as good as Rook at killing enemies in like a one-on-one, -on -one, but he can pull it off should you want. He can really pull it off, however, if you're able to give yourself the extra advantage of being in a bunker, you're able to really play a better game against the enemy. So you can see here that I've set up a couple murder holes here. And after I've scanned the enemies using my camera, I'm able to create a kill zone for them in this hallway where oh, my teammate, though, he pushed up a little ahead of me, God, but like the idea is that I'm going to have a heavy position with a strong like character that's able to fight in open asshole. combat. With this advantage of the murder holes, I'm really going to have an even greater advantage and be able to take out most targets swapping using mags. the UMP's high swapping, high stopping power that's swapping mags. Ugh. But at any rate... This play style is pretty effective. You're going to be able to hold people down, and if you put yourself in a good position and play smart, you're really going to have a strong position and be able to really be an asset on the defensive side of the game. You can see also that I've set up the armor panel behind me, of course, to make sure that the enemy can't shoot me in the back. And uh, always when you're setting up murder holes, make sure you can only shoot through one area, and you can only be shot through one area, lest She's they uh, have already seen it. So you can also there. play Castle in more of an aggressive style, as with most characters. He is a medium armor guy, so he's not going to be as fast, and he doesn't really get nitro, so he's not going to be as good at roaming as someone dead. like Mute or Bandit, but he can play the role in more of a brawler state. So you can see me here, I'm just engaging enemies down this long haul, which is quite a feat for a defender. You can note that my range is pretty solid, and I'm able to push up with the support of my buddy. Oh, actually... He may have died, but I'm able to push up on my own, because that's how awesome I am, I suppose. And uh, I'm going to move in there, and this roaming playstyle has allowed me to get behind the enemy. So I'm now moving up behind them, and you can see the benefits of having at least one roamer on your team, and Castle can indeed fill that role, even though he is not as well suited as others. So you can see here, I can hear my that they have taken out my buddy, so I'm going to go in for the uh, awesome double kill here, and of course... Uh, my pro spray skills are too much for Sledge and IQ, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the play styles for the castle. I hope that you guys learned a thing or two, and as always, thank you for watching.